Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. It's your girl Tiffany, aka Eprel, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Now, if you didn't watch the first video, then I would definitely recommend that you go ahead and watch the first half of this video because it's very important. I'm just starting, you know, on the next section of study material and resources that help me pass my uh, subjects in my GED math. So that's what I'm showing you guys today. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this. So as you can see, I'm on YouTube and I have a particular YouTuber uh, channel up in front of me, which is called GED Micro Learning. This particular YouTuber definitely helped me pass. I'm not even going to lie. Like her videos truly helped me pass this math GED test and that's why I believe I finished so strong because I felt like I really indulged myself in math but I had to find other resources as well outside of the GED plus to help me understand it just a little bit more better and, and, and visualize these things on how to do it what to think about what to look for in a passage and her her videos are very detailed I'm just gonna click on one so you guys can see all right so this is pretty much her videos and her stuff i'm telling you it's literally just like the test she goes over everything chapter by chapter mixed fractions and proper fractions uh geometry word problems as you guys can see this will definitely be on the test finding um square surface i'm sorry finding surface area of a cone this is definitely going to be on the test, which you would definitely use a, um, what is those things called that they give you? Can't think of it right now. Um, but you will have to use a uh, sheet that they give you um, where they have all of the different, uh, different things on it to help you solve the problem. I'm so sorry, you guys. My mind is so all over the place but it's a formula sheet there you go <laughs> it's a formula sheet that it has all the different formulas on it and that's how you'll be able to solve finding the surface area of a cone so she goes over that she goes I'm, I'm telling you she can go up to 200 questions sometimes she goes up to 40 50 100 200 i mean she is amazing when it comes to actually making questions that are very very close to the actual test so that's why i say she is definitely one of my favorites she definitely helped me pass my ged um test and i just hope that you guys take some time out of your day to watch it i mean she goes up from 20 to 10 to 5 questions so if you don't if you don't want to be overwhelmed with so many questions that she go over then just go to like 10 or 15 or five questions um to see if you're understanding her and following along i always recommend that when you are going along with her always have a whiteboard in a marker with you so that you can underline you can see and write and and feel so you so all of it is conditioning your mind to actually understanding okay this is what i have to look for you see how she's underlining things how many total workers are there in the company and she's going to show you this this is pretty much percentages basic arithmetic is just percentages this is pretty easy and it took me a while to figure this out but once i started looking at her videos she really helped me out and this is for the ged math okay she only does ged math she doesn't do all four subjects just one so that's one YouTuber that helped me out. I'm also going to go to this guy. Um, he helped me out a lot. This man right here, I think his name is Wise. Why is it? I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he was amazing as well. Um, he'll have sample test questions that are identical to the test as well. He is actually a math teacher so he goes over a lot of things 
he'll go ahead and take out the calculator and he'll show you how to solve problems like this because I'm telling you that if you want to know what's on the test this stuff is on the test <laughs> so I think you guys might want to look at his videos also polynomials is on the test um, what else liner equations are on the test as well what is the equation of a line that passes through through the points negative 3 dash negative 2 and um, 1 dash 6 all of this is on and what he's using right now is a formula sheet this is the formula sheet and you go under algebra and these are the formulas that you would have to use to solve this so what you would use is the in, uh, the slope intercept form of an equation of a line which is the y equals mx plus b and you would put these two in this formula and then you would solve it so it's I'm telling you this guy here he was amazing he was definitely amazing you see how he breaks everything down he underlined things that's what helped me out a lot because when I got on the real test and I saw the highlighter I was like okay great this is definitely going to help me he also has some videos of like words of encouragement that you can also look at as well before your test or even after the test he also shows you how to use the GED calculator I'm telling you you guys you have to indulge yourself in this thing called GED I don't care what subject it is um, more times than none is gonna be the math part but you really have to work to get this GB. I worked to get my GB. Nobody was there to help me. There was no tutors to help me. I had to go out and purchase books and engrave myself in it, get frustrated, want to stop, want to give up. But I couldn't give up because if I give up, then I give up on myself and my future. And I want you guys to realize that nobody is going to get you to where you need to be but you. So I want everyone to condition their mind to thinking nobody's going to help me i'm in this by myself and i have to figure it out because this is my life this is my future nobody's going to hand you the test full of answers nobody's going to do that we all have to lose sleep want to give up feel like the walls are closing in but we can't give up we have to keep remaining strong and that's what i had to do i had to keep remaining strong i had to go to my sisters and be like man I just can't do this I, I feel like I'm just losing so much sleep man I just feel like I just can't indulge my brain no more into this and then when I got on the test everything that I was going over from these videos to my GED plus and all of that was on the test and it was it was like second nature to me because I just indulged myself in it you know and I want you guys to get conditioned so this guy here I definitely recommend watching his videos as well even with GED micro learning watch her videos and then I have um, another guy who I watched as well he goes over math and science things he's very informative as well and he I'm telling you this man goes over everything I mean anything you want to know about math and science it's all here he goes very in depth of science and math like what is the square root if you want to know what that is he'll go over that with you and he you know works on the whiteboard he'll definitely give you um explanations on why i mean this guy is really good <laughs> as you can see how many subscribers he got he got a million over a million followers so I mean, he knows what he's talking about, and he really is good. And those were the three main um, YouTubers that I watched to help me out. And I want you guys to watch them. If you don't want to pay for the GED Plus, then come to YouTube for free and just watch them and see what they do, and you'll be all right. And as long as you put in the work, you get out what you put in. So always remember that. What you put into something is what you're going to get out. If you put the bare minimum in, then you're only going to get the bare minimum out. Okay? But if you put in and exceed even your wildest expectations, that's what you're going to get. 
So I want to condition your mind to know that this stuff is literally like fifth grade math. You know that, right? This stuff that is on the GED um, test, this stuff is like fifth to sixth grade high school math. So we all have to just put it in our minds that this is our future and nobody's going to get us to where we need to be but us. And we have to take it step by step. And I know math can be very overwhelming. It was very overwhelming for me, but I had to go through it and I had to push through it, okay? And I know that if I can do it, I know that you guys can do it. So I'm going to show you guys something else that also helped me with my GED math. So I did have these little packets here. Um, so they have like a bunch of them down here, like number sense, all of these things here. I'm going to just click on this one. All of this was very helpful. These are some GED packets that you can definitely go over when it contains the algebra. Once again, everything that is in these packets, it breaks it down. Now, nobody told me about these packets. I literally was just surfing Google and I just said, man, do they have any GED packets? And the, this link came up and I was like, wow, this stuff looks like it's very informative. And believe it or not, it really is. A lot of this stuff is actually on the GED Ready, which I was telling you about in the previous video. The GED Ready is just a test that mimics the real, real GED test. This is what's pretty much they took from. So this is GED Math, and I'm telling you, this stuff really works. You just download this packet and just go through it. Just go through it. They give you the answer key at the bottom. So if you want to compare your answers, you can do that as well. Um, they got the algebra one. Let's see. They got the algebra one. They have a number sense one. All of this stuff is very informative. Power and roots. They show you that. I'm telling you guys, it's all here for you. You just have to put in the work. Scientific notation. That will definitely be on the test. Mixed practice. Order of operations. Number lines from least to greatest. They'll give you that absolute value. This would definitely be on the test as well. Because I had a question like that. Factors and multiples would definitely be on the test. So once again, this packet is the number sense packet. And if you guys um if you guys want me to put this down in the description box, I will as well. But it's all here. <laughs> Literally. It is all here. And you guys can definitely do it. Because if I can do it, I know you guys can do it. You just got to indulge yourself in this thing. You got to indulge yourself in this. It's very important. You got advanced math, system of equations. All of this is going to be on the test. And if you need extra help, no problem. Just reach out to your GED advisor if you go ahead and purchase the GED plus and and do it or um in the next video I'm going to show you guys a uh online free tutoring service that you can get through your library they can also help you as well and you can just copy you could probably take a screenshot of these questions and pop it right into the the session and they'll help you solve it but this stuff is very important and they give you the answer key and you can go ahead and work it out or you can just send it to your tutor and they'll go ahead and help you. So with this video, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and I know it's a lot, but just rewatch it and do what's best for you. I'll link all of this information down below. I want to say thank you guys so much for just always your love and support and your encouragement because sometimes I need it as well. But if you like this content, just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you in my next video. Love you guys. Stay safe. Keep scribing for nothing but the best, and let's not make any excuses. Let's get to work, 
And um, stay safe, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, until next time, be safe. Bye.